everyone, thank you for tuning in to Mr. West this year. My name is Megan and I'm one of the co-presidents of Student Council. And while this year has been crazy to say the least, we're super excited to bring you Mr. West in a new and unconventional way. This year will be different than many other years, but we're super excited to bring to you Mr. West 2020. Hi, my name is Caitlin and I'm the Vice President of Student Council. Although the show may look a little different this year, that does not take away from all the effort that the boys put into creating it. First, we will show a video of what was done so far of the opening dance before school closed. This will then be followed by the boys' interview sessions. After the interview sessions, the boys will showcase a quarantine outfit in place of the regular formal wear. Following the quarantine outfit will be swimwear. After swimwear, it will be a vlog portion of the show that the boys put together to show how they spent their time in quarantine. We hope you enjoy the show just as much as we did. Hi everyone, I'm Nikki McNaughton and I am the other co-president for Student Council. Throughout the show, you will have the opportunity to make donations to the Lord's Pantry in Dying Town. We usually have a lot more charities, but this year we decided to focus all our donations on helping those who need food at this time. You can make your donations through Venmo at dus-student-council. Feel free to include your favorite contestant's name in the comment section of your payment. The contestant with the most associated funds raised will be crowned Mr. Congeniality. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy the show. Now, before we begin, Mr. West, Student Council would just like to say thank you to a few people. First off, the judges for still wanting to be a part of Mr. West and still wanting to crown a winner. Next, the boys for spending hours on these videos and truly making it the best Mr. West. Next, we would like to thank you, Eminem Production, as they spent so much time and effort putting in this awesome video together for us. Next, we would like to thank, thank our choreographers, Ryan, Leo, and Nikki, for putting it together an amazing routine. Next, we would like to thank the Backbone of Student Council and Mr. West, Mrs. McGregor, and Mrs. Grandizio for being amazing leaders and advisors to this all. Next, and the biggest thank you, is to you guys for still wanting to be with us a part of this. We really thank you for still donating and still wanting to see what these boys have been showcased for you. And I promise you, it's worth it. Now, Mr. West 2020! It's me, Mario and the gang. You probably know my name, and so we start the game. Jumping high, ducking low from the sky to the ocean. How come peace can't stop being stolen? Need the firefly or star power now for Bowser? Koopa Troopa, Stupid Goomba, soon to lose a life. It's me and Peach and Luigi, so you know. Stop it, don't rock and roll. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Jumping on a bed, four little monkeys jumping on a bed. 
One fell off, it bumped his head Papa called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the back If you don't wanna hurt your head And now, prepare to feast your eyes on our lovely contestants of Mr. West 2020. get us started off. What is your favorite memory from last? Oh, uh, man. <laughs> My favorite memory goes back to uh, junior year in Mr. Bose's class. We, uh, it was Christmas time and uh, John Vitale came in to give me a present he told me he was going to give me. And uh, he got me a uh, gummy friend that I still have in my car. I have a weird obsession with transporting objects into the band room. Hmm. Um, like, one time we took a couch off the side of the road um. and put it in the band room, or a golf cart, or lawn chairs. Lawn but, chairs, okay. I, I, I seem to remember the couch incident didn't work out too well. No, he threw it in a garbage truck. How dare he? Uh, okay, well there was this one time, uh, me and Yoshi, uh, Anthony, you okay. know, you know him, you yes. love him, or you don't. Uh, <laughs> we were walking around uh, at practice one day, and uh, we decided to go to the local dog park and uh, using a wooden plank construct a bridge over a river and um, yeah, that's, that's it. One plank? 
yeah, it was a singular plank. We had to adjust it. It was actually much harder you think. It was in the dead of winter. We both had to sacrifice our own bodies into the river we were freezing. It was lovely. It was the best shower I think I've ever taken in my life. I would say choir class. You know, I always have a good time. So I have a lot of memories, but uh, just messing around in the cafeteria. I have a couple friends who have really funny laughs, and once they start going, they just don't stop. Okay. Vibes. You know, cafeteria. It's got to be every single Monday at 8 p.m. for men's choir. Because it's truly what they call a ladly time. Hmm. My favorite memory is getting to play hockey with all my uh, senior friends. So that was really nice. Probably during cross country. <laughs> we skipped out on practice one time uh, by hiding from the coaches. <laughs> and uh, it, was a, it was a little mean, but... We, we played a nice game of battle sack and, uh, you know, yeah, it was a good time. Nothing's better than that. Over Easter, you know, spring break, me and some boys came here. We built a drum cart with Mr. Hart. That's right, a drum cart with Mr. Hart on April 20th. 420. Who is your favorite teacher from West? Me and me and the Shoemeister, if you will. We 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 go way back. Freshman year English class. Uh, we always we always play this game where you have to say hi to each other first. And uh, I win every single time, despite what she says. Uh, it's like a million to about seven. Who's your fave fave? Who's your favorite teacher at West? <laughs> Definitely Mr. M. No yep. doubt. <laughs> 100%. Um, Mr. M, uh, just because I've had him for so many years, he's always been there. So, I mean, he's the nicest dude. He gives us some freedom and all that. He always treats us equally and, you know. Favorite teacher at West. Oh, man. Um, wow. Favorite teacher, hands down, Mr. Hart. I would say it's got to be Mr. Hart. I know he's not there this year, but it's just got to be him. Any reasons why? He's just, he's just a G, you know, he really relates to the students. You know, the memories, the proximity, the music, the enigma. You know, makes all of the work that we do interesting for us. The the za. It's not scared to have fun. You gotta have fun in your life. The, 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 the uh, aloe water, just all that stuff. It's been great, you know? Now we just talking straight teaching ability or are we talking straight I mean, ladding ability? <laughs> My favorite teacher has to be Miss McGregor. Straight or ladding. straight. Just whoever you vibe with the most, I guess. English teacher for two years, and she's always been there. Mm -hmm. That's sweet. Um, wait, I don't want to crash. <laughs> gonna run these women over. Poor women. Hi. Um, I'd have to go Mr. Lawton. He's, he's such a lad, like, honestly. And he's, he seems like he really cares about the students as well. No, I can see that. Uh, my favorite teacher is Mr. Lawton. I would literally take a bullet for that man. <gasps> wow. That's intense. Um, I'm gonna say Thomas Steinmacher. Oh, classic. And, and here's why. Okay. For one, he's a lad. For two, he's good at teaching. And three, he's a lad. Mm, I can attest to that. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear? Oh, my uh, Gecko Sherman dying. <laughs> I was not ready for that. <sighs> I have to say, you know those chicken beef? <laughs> I don't even know. Can I redo the question? We can come back to we it. We can come back. I'll come back to it. I don't even know. Biggest fear. My biggest fear, personally, don't laugh. <laughs> Do you already laugh? I oh know, I'm sorry. He's already laughing. <laughs> so, my biggest fear is objects underwater. No, what? Why? <laughs> so, so, all right, so picture this. You have a submerged object, say, like a pier, you know, the bottom of a pier. You ever jump into a lake or something and you have to climb back up a, a ladder? Yeah. All right, so imagine the slimy wooden ladder you're climbing up. Okay, oh. Or... Let's say, imagine a submarine coming up out of the depths of the ocean. That is my fear. That's, okay, okay. Uh, any reason why something happened? Like a fish bite you or? I, I so I have a pool. Okay. And uh, at some point during my youth, we were like putting chlorine in the pool and something about like the cloudy murkiness of the pool just kind of made me uncomfortable. So I think I'd have to say that Owning a pool ruined me. Okay, you know, first world kind of struggles. Yeah. Oh, sharks. Sharks? 
Yep, enough said. Okay. My biggest fear is walking into a Downingtown High School West bathroom. <laughs> Every time I go in, I feel like I either see a crime scene, um, a fecal painting on the wall, or the second coming of Christ. Mm, he's there. Um, that's, that's good. Uh, if I'm you... on way too many turns. <laughs> so funny. Uh, ooh. Oh, sorry about that. You're all good. Uh, what is your biggest fear? You know, my, my biggest fear has got to be, um, goldfish crackers. Mm. You know, I, I think it's my biggest fear. I think they're, the physicality of them is absolutely disturbing and haunting in every way. I hate the crumbs they leave. I hate the taste. Yeah. Um, you know, I'll, I'll hang around people who eat them, but I personally just, I don't vibe with them. I just mm. don't dig them. I don't. Huge mouths. Huge. Yeah, exactly. I hate them. I hate Not them. Not right. Hate them. Yep. I understand. My biggest fear is that one day I'll wake up and this mustache was gone. So sad. Now you got me scared too. Um, when I'm on high places, I have a problem with gravity. Okay. Yeah. So it's, a little wacky. it's it's you know like leaning over, you know you start feeling the negative nine point eight meters per second, mm. and it it gets to me. <laughs> I yeah, I don't like it. Understandable. My biggest fear has to be snakes. It's pretty. Understandable. <laughs> All right. Um, if you had just one wish, what would you use it on? What would you wish for? Uh, I'd wish for more height because I'm short. Simple, concise. Simple, I get concise. it. Concise. Five I seven. Not ideal, but you know, <laughs> just a couple more inches. Man. Higher GPA. <laughs> uh, yeah. One wish. I'd wish for these short. Uh, if I had one wish, I'd wish for shorter or overalls. For the sex appeal? Oh, for the sex appeal. Of course. Of course. Of course. World peace, baby. I love Leone's Pizza, so an unlimited supply of buffalo chicken stromboli. Oh, that's a good one. You know, I'd probably wish for unlimited baguettes. That's French bread, French bread that comes from France. Okay. It's in like a stick. I think I'd wish for just unlimited supply of that All anytime of I want. Anytime. Just, and anyone to have unlimited supply of that too. I think everyone needs to be joyed by that. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you think baguettes are superior to normal bread? I think so, yeah. Yeah, especially the uh, French French bread. Baguettes. Mm. Stick bread, yes. Stick bread French. Like yep. it. Okay. Exactly. Can I wish for more wishes or is that against the rules? I don't know. I don't think so. I think, I think, I think that, you know, more wishes is, is a good one. I'd wish to repeat high school from freshman year to senior year, just to choose a different path and see how it went. Interesting. All I want is for Mario to love me. Mm -hmm. I want your heart, baby. <laughs> Why do you want to be Mr. West? Uh, I, I, I want to be Mr. West because you know, it's it's a it's a it's a classic title. You know, you know, Mr. West. You love Mr. West, or you don't. But and you you love the charity aspect of it too. So yeah, much money true. raised, so much so much good cause. <laughs> it's lovely. I want to be Mr. West because I've seen the people before and they were good role models and leaders and that's why I like to see it. Okay. Look, we got to keep the princess win streak going. Princess for life. Okay. Why do I want to be Mr. West? It's kind of want to be Mr. West just so I have like one last little bit of fun before I uh, leave and uh, graduate high school. I think that'd be, uh, be pretty cool to have in my memories. Well, I'm definitely the sexiest. I've got the best mustache. I've got the best legs. Definitely the best arms, so. I want to be Mr. West to make an impact on the school in a way that'll be remembered past me. And I want to make people smile, I want to make people laugh, and I want to raise money for a good cause. Okay. <laughs> because there's no other option. Simple as that. I mean, I mean who, who do we got on the competition? Huh? Luigi? Well, here's the thing. I don't want to be Mr. West because I, I already am Mr. West, actually. I already, I already won. People don't know. My sophomore year during a dress rehearsal, I, I was awarded Mr. West. I got to go up on stage. I got to have a good time, celebrate the trophy. So they don't know that. You know, keep it on the down low because I don't want to, I don't want to disappoint. I haven't, like, said anything. Okay. But I'm just waiting for it to be publicly known because the people from two years ago only know that. But they're, they just got to announce it this year. So okay. they've just been waiting because, like, we can't give it to you as a sophomore. Yeah. Uh, hmm. uh. Who would come in first in Mario Kart? Me. 
What? Do you know? I I'm I am a literal monkey. You, you know how you have those? You you know you go through the little item boxes and you, you can get banana peels. Yeah. I have an infinite amount of those because I'm a monkey. I have an infinite amount of banana supplies. I can just cover the entire track in banana peels, and there is nothing my opponents can do, and I'll just ride in victory. Of the contestants? Mm-hmm. Uh, can I say myself? Of course. Fix um. The only good Mario Kart player of the contestants, though Diddy Kong thinks he's nice at it. Mm. But he's not. He, he really isn't. Okay. He's really bad. Yeah, like 12th place every time bad. Like, we don't talk with him about how bad he is. Okay. I can see. Me, of course. Any reasons why? Me. <laughs> Dude, it's the best, so that's just kind of what. That's kind of facts. Gotta say, Luigi. Yeah, I don't mean to seem selfish, but I feel like I would. Um, you know, I just know all the tricks. I know, I know the trade. I, I he's tall, seems aerodynamic. I, I got really long legs, so I feel like I can like push the gas pedal down the farthest out of all of them. I feel like I can just <laughs> he could go. You know, he can he can get it going. He might have to be my good friend Daisy. Okay, John Vitale. Any reasons why? Any special abilities? Like, well, you see, he uh, he drives a manual car, and I think I think having the skill of being able to drive manual, both in real life and Mario Kart, is something desirable. So, I think that might be lending itself to his skill as a driver. Okay, all the shifting and drifting, just pulling ahead. Oh yeah, shifting and drifting, maybe. Oh me. Okay. Completely. Is there a reasoning behind that, or? I think I'd have to give that to Anthony. You know, he got, he got Yoshi with that <laughs> song, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Definitely. Could you could you could you give us a little bit more? You know that uh you know the one song is like <laughs> that? Very good. Okay. Very nice. Uh literally me. <laughs> if I can walk in six inch heels, I think I can drive. And that's no! <laughs> Who out of all of you would it? Drive off the side of Rainbow Road first. Mario. <laughs> Without a doubt, it's Mario. Just incompetent overall? Yes. Or? Okay. Mario is inferior. To me, to everyone. Uh, that's, a, that's a tricky one. Definitely not myself. Diddy Kong. Reasons? He's small. He uh, can't handle himself. That's uh, Diddy Kong's gonna fall off right away. Probably Chris. <laughs> It doesn't seem like he has good uh, hand-eye coordination. Too really? Well. That's a tough blow for Chris. Yeah. Let me stop here and look at our contestants. Our, our men. Oh, wow. Um, who would fall? Oh, it's got to be Luigi. Mm. You know, he's been eating a lot of that stromboli lately. I would have to say Muhil the Seekerin would fall off of the road first. And who is he? Muhil? Hmm. Well, that man is Donkey Kong. Right there. Any reasons why? Any? Donkey Kong has just some mass. <laughs> just, just a bigger, just a bigger monkey. You know, love, love my big bro, if you will, and I will. But uh, it just, it, it just won't work. Probably because he sings bass and choir, and we all know all basses are uh, garbage. Ah, yes, of course. So of you course. know how it is. Um, you know, I'd have to say I feel like um, Peach would. I think she just has no control in those heels. I think the wig, sorry, the, the hair would just get in her face all the time. The I, I just, locks. yeah, the luscious locks would get in her face. I gotta say, Peach. Really? You know, driving with those heels. Daisy, that girl has no clue what she's doing. She's just trying to come after my man, and she wishes she were me. She doesn't even have the word princess in her name. Wow, okay. I think we understand a little bit. Ah! 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 Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um. Toadette, who you may know as Christopher Reben, unfortunately will not be competing because he is off serving in the Marines. Thank you so much for your service, Chris, in serving our country. <laughs>
Michael, you are the next Mr. West, and no one can tell hey Michael, you that you are. Michael, what'd you do with that suit I let you borrow last night? Andrew, it's 4 p.m. It's time to wake up. Oh, hey, Wes. How are you guys on this fine day? This is my quarantine fit. With the nice pajama top, little short pajama bottoms, and a nice eye mask. Good morning, y'all. 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 Good morning, Kermit. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Stay safe. Love you, Wes. Good more mm, good afternoon, Wes. Today I'm gonna showcase my quarantine fit. This is my fit. to bed.
Hello us, these are my quarantine outfits. Oh, hey, West. Um, <clears throat> just me, Andrew Henrichon, taking a nice little bath. We got all the candles, little bubbles. Got my nice little top on. And a nice bathing suit. Thank you very much, West. Michael had successfully crossed 68 rivers around the globe. He now must cross one final river. Can he muster the strength?
Too cold. Too cold. Hello, ladies. Look at your man. Now back to me. Now look at your man. Now back to me. Sadly, he isn't Mr. West. But if he stops using that lady scented body wash and switches to old spice, he can start becoming Mr. West. Okay. Back up. Where are you? You're on a front yard with Mr. West himself. Look at your hands. Now look at mine. Your favorite CD. It is still your favorite CD. Anything is possible when you are Mr. West and have Old Spice body wash. He's the kind of guy who thinks he's smart He's the type that always looks the part He's so on the make, it's so hard to take oh, honey, I might never let him touch my Hello? That was a close one. That was a close one.
What? No! <laughs> Mario's too short. He'd be he'd be underwater. <laughs> and what I thought I had till next week. What do you mean my lease is up now? Ah! Oh. Hey, yo, Mario. Mind if I stay at your place tonight? Ah! Ay, ay, ay! Hey there, hi there, ho there, bo bombers It's your neighborhood villain, Waluigi, back with a Waluigi vlog. Today, we are going to go through my life in quarantine. After waking up at exactly 5 a.m. in the morning, I proceed to the bathroom to shave off this mustachio. Now that I've proceeded to the El Baño and put the shaving cream upon my face, I have the Gillette razor and it is time to shave it off. Whoa, very nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. The mustache has been shaved and I'm prepared for the day. After I shave my mustache, it's time for my strict training regimen. Let's get right into it. First things first, we're out here lifting weights. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Next, it is time to dodge some turtle shells. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Chill, chill, chill. chill. <laughs> Dude, cut the phone. Cut it. Now it's time for the banana obstacle course challenge. Guys, this is my last step to my training process, and that would be taking out my nemesis, also known as Luigi. Well, that's all for the vlog today, guys. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.
So I had absolutely no idea what to do for this vlog. So I said, hey, why not just let my two-year-old nephew, Dax, decide what we're going to do? All right, you ready? We're playing some games. But Dax, what are we playing with? All the monkeys. All the monkeys, that's right. Dax, look. You want to play with the balloon? Balloon. And the monkeys? Yep, we're putting on all the monkeys. All the monkeys. All the monkeys, I like you. Oh, look, all the monkeys. All the monkeys. Oh, nice. 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 Hello? Back. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Yeah. Okay, ready? And boom! Listen! Nice! Beautiful. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. After my beauty rest, I like to put on a nice quarantine look to start my day. <coughs> and now I've finished my quarantine look. It's time to start the day. I can't. 
driving these steps. <sighs> Try not to hit a curb this time. And now it's time for my daily run. Remember kids, whenever you're gonna be in public, always wear a mask. Hi. Can I get your name? Uh, Princess Peach. Okay. Peach. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> you, good one. you too. Hi guys, I'm Jeff Vitale. Uh, this is my quarantine vlog. It's mostly about a car that I've been working on. So, here you go. Uh, I'll show you guys the parts that I painted. Hit a school bumper. Um, two fenders. Rear bumper. Uh, splitters. But yeah, I painted all these. Uh, and yeah, that's what I've been doing today. I'm getting the body prepped up and then I'm gonna paint that later. And I'm gonna get the doors painted and hopefully I'll have a finished car by some point next week. Hi guys, so around an hour and a half went by. I finished sanding it up and prepping it, got it in the booth. It's right here. And I'm going to finish taping it up, then gonna paint this black over again a few times and then dry that off and paint the red hi guys so it ended up being a, another day so i just finished the car which it looks really good uh nice two-tone top is cleared bottom's cleared it's this nice red First thing I do is I wake up in the morning like everyone else. Today I got up at a nice 1.30 and I grab my Uggs. Slid into the bathroom like Tom Cruise. And I realized I was just too sexy for this world. So I did the only reasonable thing. I flipped my hood up and I moved it on out of there. Walking down the stairs to go make myself a nice quesadilla. Uh, obviously this egg was giving me a hard time, so... Yep, there it goes. Then we get to cooking the ham. Now we're at the quesadilla part. We got some cheese. We got the egg from earlier. We got some shredded lettuce. Then the ham from earlier. More cheese. And the second tortilla. Use this neat little trick to flip the quesadilla and put it back in the pan. Gotta have double coverage. Best appearance from dad. Making sure the house doesn't burn down. And the best part of anyone's cooking experience. Now for the first bite. As you can see, that was a nice crunch, good taste, a little bit more seasoning. I decided to go for a run, and uh, I found my sunglasses, so I was pretty happy about that. And of course I listened to music on the way there. As I pulled up to the first parking lot, it was pretty crowded, so I decided not to go. But don't forget who's taking Second parking lot was just as crowded, so I decided this was a no-go. Pulled into Marsh Creek, uh, realized it was just as crowded as the other two, and decided to dip. Ding -a -ling, oh ding -a -ling, oh I wanna play with my ding -a -ling, oh oh. Here come that jerk again. I finally found a parking lot that wasn't too crowded, so I decided this would be the place for running. As you can see here, I'm doing some pretty advanced stretches for my many years of cross country. Yeah, pain. After a nice 0.1 miles, I decided it was time to 
walk back to the car and, you know, head home. Once I got home, I did the only reasonable thing, which was watch Netflix. Then, obviously, it was dinner time. Then after that, I got on FaceTime with the boys. And at the end of the day, go to bed at a nice, reasonable time of 4 a.m. In the class, I heard him talk the greatest lessons ever taught. Far beyond our greatest road, we lost his soul. Now the school is so heartless. How could it get so heartless? Oh, how could it get so heartless? How could it be so cold as the classroom fan by the window? I still remember all that you taught to me, though. You need to watch the way he's still teaching me, though. I mean, after all the Johns that we went through. I mean, after all the homes that we built, too. Hey, yo, I know there's some Zai that you ate with me. Hey, yo, those plastic trees, they really grow. And now I want to see you spinning on that rolly. I watch Rocky IV, that's your fave movie. You got a new job, we still your homies. And in the end, you're serving our country. In the class, I heard him talk. Get so hot there. You're such a beast, though, Mr. Hart. You demonstrated all the things I need to know. Flying aircraft, designing houses, how to play songs in class through your phone. How did his hair always look so fresh, though? I've never even seen him use a comb. He never stopped, never messed his do up till he shaved it all off, but it still looked dope. He ran around the class, always helping me. He always made us laugh so relentlessly. You'd wait a couple hours, then. Anything that you can give me class I heard him talk The greatest lessons ever taught Far beyond Rock Raymond Road We lost his soul Now the school is so heartless How could it get so heartless? Oh, how could it get so heartless? Knocking, 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 knock on his door, but now it's locked. They don't know about sitting stoops, they don't know about bombing you. But we got such great memories, and you be keeping our land free, and you just gonna be overseas. I should just fix my sleep. You say this. Could it get so heartless? Oh, how could it get so heartless? Oh, Mr. My Mr. Mr. Oh, Mr. You're the best. I'm living on Mr. All my troubles seem so far away Now it looks as though they're here to stay Oh, I believe in yesterday Suddenly I'm not half the man I used to be 
there's a shadow hanging over me Oh yes, today came suddenly Why she had to go, I don't know She wouldn't say I said something wrong Now I'm wrong Yesterday, love was such an easy game to play. Now I need a place to hide away. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Why she had to go, I don't know. She wouldn't say. I said. Something wrong now I long for yesterday Yesterday Love was such an easy game to play Now I need a place to hide away Oh I believe in yesterday Hi ho folks, so before we get started, could you do me a quick favor? Could anyone named Michael please stand up? Alrighty then, that concludes our mic check. Thanks. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only illusions. And rainbows have nothing to hide. So we've been told, and some choose to believe it. I know their wrong way and see. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. What's so amazing that keeps us stargazing? What do we think we might see? Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. La da da dee da da do. La da 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 dee da da do. Think of when I was with Nolan Making the best trilogy of all time Told myself that I was on a roll 
But then Zack Snyder got on board But that Snyder who's an ache I still remember You can get addicted to a certain kind of success Like Batman Begins and The Dark Knight So when we made Batman be Superman And followed it with Justice League I'll admit that for the fans it was over But you didn't have to cut me off Switch to Marvel and pretend that I was nothing Don't leave me with Jared Leto But you treat me like I'm Robin and that feels so rough No you didn't have to discount me The Lego Batman movie was pretty good But you didn't even watch that though now I'm just a Batman that you used to know Now I'm just a Batman that you used to know Now I'm just a Batman that you used to know Now and then I think of all the times you screwed me over Like when you had your bad nips with George Clooney But I don't even like you now Marvel makes far better stuff you said it would get better, but it didn't, so you're just a Batman that I used to know. You didn't have to cut me off, switch to Marvel and pretend that I was nothing. Don't leave me with Jared Leto, but you treat me like I'm Robin and that feels so rough. No, you didn't have to discount me. The Lego Batman movie was pretty good But you didn't even watch that though Now I'm just a Batman that you used to know The Batman I used to know The Batman Now I'm just a Batman that you used to know The Batman I used to know The Batman Now I'm just a Batman that you used to know you used to know that you used to know. You used to know the Batman. Good evening, Wes. Today, for my talent, I wanted to do something completely original. Which is why today I'm going to sing for you. Wait, how many people are singing for the talent? F Good evening, West. Today I'm gonna recreate some iconic movie scenes, except I'm gonna play all of the characters. A few months ago, you voted me for most likely to win a Nobel Prize. I promise you'll regret that after watching this content. Now, pay close attention because these performances are nuanced and subtle. And they'll puff, and they'll blow your house in! Here's Johnny!
Some people say, Noah, you can't cross-dress in every single video you make, and to that I say, yes I can. Watch this. Alan, those haven't existed since the Cretaceous period, and even then it's- Look. <laughs> Method acting as a dinosaur for three weeks was very difficult, but I think my hard work is evident in the final product. Now, watch this. Hey man, it's choking? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you for watching, and please remember to donate if you can. Stay safe, and we out west. Like twice less swaggy money. Like twice five money. Hello West, welcome back to another episode of me, not knowing what to do. I wasn't sure what to do for my talent, considering the quarantine. My original plan, pre-quarantine, was to just ask the judges what to play and then spontaneously play it. Seeing as we're in quarantine now, I can't really do that. I thought about asking my family, but I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to sing and play something I already know how to play. That's my dog over there. She likes to listen to me play sometimes. She, she watches over the yard, you know, make sure there's no strangers or squirrels coming by. Come here, puppy. Come here. Bella, come on. Bella, come on. Bella, we were... It's fine. Oh. Let's get to the actual talent. I cried for you